Um, I think the craziest thing a girl's ever asked me to do. I mean, ever. Ever. I said no. And this was my ex. Well, wow, it was to, too wild for you. you know, well, it's just disgusting in my eyes, but she thought it was going to be hot. But I just said no. She used to push limits. So a crazy thing she'd ask me. Okay. She asked me to come in her and then drink it out with a straw. Oh. <laughs> How do you come out as kind of kinky to your partner? I have found that U of T guys are so vanilla, not just from my experience, but from hearing about the relationship issues my friends have too. I'm not necessarily saying we should use things like whips and leashes, but I am okay with being extra rough. Leave me with some bruises that only you'll ever see, you know? Unfortunately, U of T guys are too scared that they'll hurt me, but I wish they wouldn't be. And I'm afraid to say that I want someone who is down to explore. My thoughts are, if she wants a man to beat her, I got some that I know that will beat her. <laughs> that shit ain't funny. <laughs> so why are you laughing? <laughs> she want to be used and abused? Come to Durham. D Durham, North Carolina? That's exactly right. My thought on U of T guys is personally, I don't blame them necessarily because with all these accusations going around with men and rape and all this stuff, I don't blame them. In fact, it's borderline the fact that I want to make a bitch sign a consent sheet to prove the shit. So um, I don't blame them necessarily, but if it's between you and your man, it's something they got to sit down and talk about. In all honesty, you go to the table and you put it out on the front door and you say, listen, I want a little bit more rough. Keep it real. From your lady's perspective, maybe as a group as a whole, would you prefer someone now it doesn't have to be to this degree but would you prefer someone who's adventurous or would you prefer someone who's a bit more reserved uh and respectful no not respectful <laughs> so it sounds like yeah it sounds like these guys are not very good at pleasuring women it sounds like none of them are very happy now this makes sense because this is a clearly a one university campus so they've got only people from this union it's quite prestigious so you just got nerds so they need like um i don't know they need a book where every year students add different sexual challenges to do and the ones that complete it like in the varsity are the ones that are successful and that's how you base popularity it's like a whole sex and party culture and that's what they need for this university otherwise the girls they're going to have the college experience and they're not going to get a good sex. So they're never going to build up what a good relationship based off good sex. And the guys, they're all going to be virgins because the girls don't want to have sex because they think they're all vanilla and shit. Yeah, adventurous. I don't want no vanilla. Nah. I'd rather ask them to tone it that tone it down than tell them to turn, turn it, it up. up. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know if she wants to get used and abused. I think she just wants to get, like, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey? I think she wants a, a Mr. Grey or whatever his name was. That's what she's trying to find at school. Yeah, she gonna find somebody who like into that. You think so? At like, at a school where guys are focused on their studies, she's definitely gonna find somebody. Somebody's watched that movie twenty thousand times. She's gonna find a man of her dreams at that school. So keep it real with me right now. You gotta keep it a hundred percent real, okay? What, in your opinion, what is the kinkiest encounter you've experienced with a female, not from your perspective, but from hers? Like a request. A request from a girl. Yeah. Like she wanted you to spin in her mouth or something even crazier than that. I've that before and I've done it. Uh -huh. um, I think the craziest thing a girl's ever has me to do. I mean, ever. Ever. I said no. And this was my ex. Well, it was to... too wild for you. <laughs> you know, well, it's just disgusting in my eyes, but she thought it was going to be hot. But I just said no. She used to push limits. So a crazy thing she asked me. Okay. She asked me to come in her and then drink it out with a straw. Oh. <laughs> so in your opinion right why do you think guys treat girls with kitty gloves i don't know they don't want to like show 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 like a bad side to them if you get what i mean i get you like that, like like a creepy weird side like like i don't they don't want them to get creeped out by like what they're into oh okay so that's kind of that's kind of crazy because you always hear the thing um good guys finish last so it's like you know, yeah. it's like you have to be a you have to be a bad boy kind of, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but like what if they don't like it though? Exactly. It's like uh it's a delicate dance because you don't know who's who would accept it and you don't know who won't accept it. So you're like caught stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, that that's why. I'm like I like uh I ask before I do. Okay. 
so that and so it's not like weird when I just do some right, do right. Some weird stuff. You know? Okay, so you say communication is like very important. Yeah, got mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Okay, would you leave a guy if he had to? Sorry, if if he had to figure out that he had to turn it up, would you leave him more so than a guy that you would have to say, yo, you need to turn it down a little bit? Definitely, if you have to tell somebody to turn it down all the time, I guess I would, no, like, that would be too much. But if, I don't know, both of them suck. Like, if you're constantly being like, come on, like, do better. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like if you're seeing someone repetitively, then they should be able to, like, catch on to, like, what you're into. If it's, yeah, like, if you're constantly having to ask and tell them what you're like wanting then it's obviously like not working i'd I'd agree with you but as the young lady mentioned earlier with you know all this consent stuff like true you can't really just go you can't just really assume even if it's it's like a delicate dance right because unless oh man like what if you go too far and everyone just needs to communicate better yeah like everyone just needs to be like for real you know 